So sharpening your tools can be frustrating. It can be a tedious and laborious process. It used to take me all day just to sharpen these 30 or 40 tools that you see behind me. And as a full-time wood carver, that's just not really a tenable situation for me. So I decided I needed an upgrade and I went with the WS3000 by WorkSharp. And let me tell you, it's fantastic. Um, I'm loving the results and now I can sharpen all of these tools in like 30 minutes or so. And so I figured I would uh, just do a little bit of a demonstration and share in the excitement uh, with this new tool. Uh, it's really turned what used to be a thoroughly unenjoyable process into something I actually look forward to now. It's kind of addictive and satisfying to be able to go from like a damaged edge, like if you have a nick in your tool or something, to regrind it, put it to the leather strop and have a beautiful mirror polished uh, cutting edge uh, within a couple of minutes. So anyways, pretty fantastic tool and uh, I'll show you all about why I love it in this video here. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the quick rundown. This is the machine. You can see it's lightweight, compact. I don't even fix it to the bench so I can move it around. It makes it really convenient. And uh, it comes with a bunch of different abrasives, as you can see. Um, it's got the 120, and this is 400. This is 1000, and I've got this 3600. And you can see they just kind of stick on to these glass wheels. The machine comes with three of these glass wheels. And uh, just like on this one, you can see that I've actually used both sides of the wheel. So with your three wheels, you can get up to six levels of abrasives that you can just swap in and out super duper quickly, just like that, and you're ready to go. So you can see how you can really rifle through your sharpening process and really save yourself a lot of time. And as you can hear, it's pretty quiet, uh, so you're not dealing with a bunch of noise pollution. It's an air-cooled system as well, and the RPMs are dialed in to be optimal for sharpening. So between the air cooling and the low RPMs, you're not gonna overheat your tools and ruin the temper of the steel. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm using it and just do a little demo of how quickly you can get yourself a beautiful cutting edge. And so here you are working on your little green man carving when all of a sudden, oh no. You colossal dummy. You could have spent 12 bucks on a princess auto floor mat for your garage, but you're too lazy. And so now your $50 gouge is ruined. Actually, it's still kind of sharp. Let's just, let's just give it a little one of these for good measure. Oh boy, that's cringy. <laughs> All right, so obviously after that treatment, you're gonna see with my little two finger test, if you just hold it between your thumb and forefinger, if your tool bites when you push it, that's my test for whether a tool is sharp enough. Clearly this is not doing anything and is extremely dull. So let's see what the WS3000 has to say about this. All right, so we have our super dull tool here. We're gonna hit it with the 400, then the 3600, then the leather strop. And we can even time ourselves here and uh, see how long it takes. Okay, ready, set, go. and you can see it's a beautiful mirror polished finish and uh, yeah that is nice and sharp and we'll take it over to the piece of basswood over here and do the old two finger test again and see what happens. Just get a nice little shot up close of this beautiful mirror finish. A couple nose hairs to take care of maybe. Huh. Oh, We'll fix that later. Okay we'll try this again. After resharpening it, and look at that, it's grabbing like nothing and leaving nice smooth cuts. 
and we can see it's just grabbing the wood instantly and effortlessly, super sharp, feels awesome. Cross grain, very cleanly. Oh, it's easy to get carried away doing this with a freshly sharpened tool. All right, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna get back to working on this sleepy little green man. Cheers, have a good one, bye-bye.